Hello and welcome to Caves of Code. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. Always appreciate that. Um, I had to check. We really haven't gotten a lot of uh, rep or, or lore with Red Chef. So um, this could be a pretty momentous uh, occasion We or, or episode. We are going to um, go and potentially make another friend with Goat Folk who are, we are on good terms with. Um, this is here, uh, this is in one of the, the, yeah, this is in one of the ruins, which I marked for don't return because there is a legendary goat folk. Um, I think I did that on purpose, just on the off chance I wanted to come back and, uh, you know, try and make friends with them. Um, and I'm very, very glad I did that because, you know, we, we did want to do that eventually. Uh, I'm not seeing them here though. I hope, well, no, this tile is definitely generated because, um, you know, I could tell what is happening. Flash of Neon, oh, there's a, there's a moth. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I, I very clearly explored some of this zone, and so there's, you know, it's it's de very definitely going to be, going to have the stuff that I was aware of. But I am a little bit worried. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing that there, goat folk. Unless it was in a different par part of the parasang. That's uh, a possibility. Elastine gloves. Let's try the previous floor. Yeah, there they are. Hello. So they are hated by the fam Farmer's Guild, but they are, we're on good terms with them. And we can share a dram. Why can't... Why didn't we get any reputation with them? Did I already make friends with them? They have itchy skin. Hmm. Maybe I already made friends with them. I don't really remember doing that. Uh, maybe I did do that, and then I marked the zone to not... to not go back to it because they were eventually going to get over their lovesickness. That seems... All signs point to yes on that one, unfortunately. So that means that I, I just I just kind of forgot. Oh, God. See, this is why I, I don't set ignore on, on trivial creatures. Because then you get sapped. And I hate getting sapped because now all of our, all of our stuff is, has been dejuiced. Basically. Um, do we have anything we could put? We well, could put a wrist blade on our arm. I didn't know that. Hmm. I I really didn't know that. I didn't know you could put a uh, a wrist blade. I mean, it makes sense that you can put one on your arm. I wonder if that counts as an extra, like, short blade for the purposes of like when you make an attack. Let me see. Is this worth tra taking off? Electrical generation. We actually can't take that off. I, I, I rely way too much on that uh, electrical generation. Why are we stopping now? Oh, it's because our lamprey is fighting a livid creeper. Okay. So, yeah, um, that's a little bit disappointing. I guess some of you probably saw that one coming. Because, uh, you know, it might have been obvious that that, uh, that was going to happen. Because... If you were paying attention, you might have remembered that I already made friend with, friends with that goat folk. Um, so why don't we just do some more ruin diving, I guess. I, like, you know, we can check out some actual ruins. Like I say, there's really not a lot of ways to kind of manage this series. I, I, I am just kind of hoping for RNG favor. Um, and, you know... Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of exploring. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna rush necessarily. Um, I was a little, I am a little bit disappointed that that ended up being nothing. Um, that goat folk specifically. Disassemble these. 
Uh, I do like ruin diving. It's one of the few ways we can guarantee eventually getting something nice. Um, but, you know, we can't... I, I, I don't want to burn out on ruin diving because it's something I really enjoy. And I know that, you, you know, you, I know you all enjoy it. I know it's it's like one of the most fun things because um it's it's just uh exploring it's caves of cut at its finest it's exploring it's discovering new things it's uh rng it's risk reward um it's all of the best things if i could find out about a historic site that would be kind of nice because then i could go and do a historic site Historic sites are some of my favorite things to do because they are a little bit of challenge, a little bit of spice. Uh, again, some RNG, some discovery, all of the good stuff, all of the things that I've come to enjoy and appreciate about CUD. So I'm just kind of um, marking off Forgotten Ruins. Is this the one I just did? Yeah, it is. We're just... We're just uh, we're doing all the ruins on the map. There should be an achievement for um, checking out ruins. You know, like, checked out a hundred or even, like, I, I, I'd set it really high, to be honest. Like, 200 to 300 ruins. Because it's something you do a lot in CUD. And, you know, there's a certain amount of uh, enjoyment from getting those kind of achievements. And, I mean, if you're going to have an achievement for... Um, Killing, killing snap jaws, which is just it seems like a highly malicious achievement, honestly. But if you're gonna have a, a, an achievement like that, why not have one that you know incentivizes discovering ruins? Unless ruins, I guess maybe you have to build in some something that acknowledges that the player has discovered a ruin. I mean, there are, is already clearly something that acknowledges ruins because. Otherwise, what is the, the map pin mod hooking into? Because it can tell you like where all of the ruins are that the player has discovered, right? So m maybe rather than exploring ruins, you make the achievement for discovering ruins. That probably makes things a bit easier to manage. Also, uh, has a incentivizes looking for secrets, which is a, a good thing. Because that's another thing that you tend to do in, in uh, CUD. Semi automatic pistol, disassemble that. Be kind of interesting to make friends with snap jaws in, in a run. I'm sure, you know, I could do a run like that. I have a few ideas for novelty runs, but honestly, every Caves of Code run is a novelty run. So we're just like, you know, continuing roaming around the jungle. We found a, a village, but it's actually just a ruin, so... I got a little bit excited there for a moment, because I was like, oh, a village. That'd be cool. Uh, could do a quest for them. I wonder if there's a couple of a villages I haven't done quests for yet. I don't actually think we get any uh, experience points from killing... Uh, slumberlings anymore. Yeah, we don't. We've gotten to a point where slumberlings don't even give us a reward. They're nothing. I mean, we're one-hitting slumberlings. So that makes sense. I think that probably, um, you know, I've talked a bit and about, uh, Zetachrome. And, you know, I, I kind of resist even, like, bringing it up anymore because, uh, what's the point? But, I have a pointed reason for bringing it up now. I think that the only place you can really get it from consistently is probably the Deathlands. Because I know the Deathlands get, um, you know, they're very high risk, high reward. There's a lot of stuff in the Deathlands, you know. And I, this is basically, um, this series is going to be the last time we really even consider the Deathlands as an option. As a, as a place to explore, because after this series, we're done with Deathlands. They won't exist anymore. It's it's going to be uh, the Moonstair. Moonstair is, is going to take take that uh, take the Deathlands away from us. Which, I mean, maybe you have mixed feelings about that. 
but I don't because I I've known for a long time that the Deathlands were always planned slated for removal they, it was going always an endangered species of a place um but you know maybe maybe there will be something equivalent to the deathlands added once moonster uh like actually officially happens i wonder what some if the those other two markers up there are not ruins what are they I should check to see if there are some uh, villages that I haven't explored. Maybe I have knowledge of some of some. Um, I'm gonna actually mark this on the map. Map pin. This place already has a name. Really? Well, I would like to give it a different name. <laughs> Entry text. Uh, no worm. Corpse. Just, you know, on the off chance I get fungled again, I don't really want to have to deal with uh, f having to find another gnome worm corpse. Okay. This is, we're just, uh, we're just kind of roaming around looking for some cool stuff. The thing about normal ruins versus actual ruins is they're... They're not very interesting. They they have the potential to be interesting, but they their potential interestingness is um, pretty much on par with just a normal ruin. I'm not gonna check out a ruin in uh, the river because there therein lies uh, mad poles. <laughs> therein lies mad poles and madness. No, I don't want to check out a ruin. I just said that. Good. Okay, so we ch we already did this. So let me check out. Let me see what some of these other markers are. Chamor Village. Have we been there? Oh, this. Okay, this is just a ruin. This is a goat folk village. Legendary Naphtali Runt. We could make friends with Naphtalis. A layer. Layers are good because they guarantee a legendary. Legendary goat folk so sower. Oh, perfect. Um, that is actually fantastic. The problem is that, uh, my twinning lamprey have made enemies with uh, the goat folk. So I think, uh, I think it's time to say goodbye to our twin twinning lamprey. Kinda, you know? I really want to be on good terms with uh, goat folk and these guys are, are making it difficult for me. So, direct to stay there. I'm going to have to tell maybe all of them to stay. Goodbye. Probably I'm not going to come back, if I'm being honest. And I'm just going to... I'm just walking around a little bit to um, uh, pass some time so that the go folk are no longer angry with me. I'm going to treat these as scrap and disassemble them and then um, <laughs> repair this. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm, I'm, I'm past the point of collecting daggers. I, I don't need to do that anymore. So we're on good terms with these guys, yeah? Yeah, cool. Okay, so now let's leave and we're going to go back to the lair some ruins nearby. Well, this this one parasang has a lot of stuff in it, doesn't it? Okay, we'll check that out later, but I want to find a uh, layer of the ne Where is the layer of the goat oh, folk? Legendary. Okay, there it is. Are we not okay? Seems we are not okay. So I might have to use up a love injector for this. I didn't think that, um, I didn't think that, uh, that layers would mean aggressive. Okay, you're okay. I don't know why those other goat folk were not okay. You're not okay. I don't understand. There's a kind of an inconsistent thing happening here. Yeah, some of these goat, goat folk are not okay. And some of them are. 
This gives us... Oh, gives us reputation with goat folk. I should wear this. I forgot about that. I forgot horned was actually really good. So we might have enough reputation that we're okay with even these goat folk who are not, 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 not very happy with me. We're not friendly with goat folk, you know. We're 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 just kind of on, you know. They they, they resent me, but they don't hate me. Okay, let's let's go downstairs and we'll see if we can't. Are we? No, we're not okay. Okay, so oh, some of these goat folk we're okay with, some of them no. Um, so we're gonna probably have to use a love injector. Hundred percent worth it if we can get to uh, you know. A point where we're, we're friendly. Man, if I didn't, if I wasn't as well kitted as I am. Also, why is my AV only 17? What am I not wearing? Oh, that's right, my helmet. <laughs> I have to check occasionally, you know? Okay. If I wasn't as well kitted as I am, this place would be super spicy. Okay, I, like I say, I really don't want to... I don't understand. These guys are being very inconsistent. And it's kind of annoying. Some of them are, like, cool, and some of them are not cool. I guess uh, some of them are aggressive and some of them are not aggressive. Is that the takeaway? Okay, um, what do we, oh, we got a crystal coronet in here. Sure, I'll take that. I'm just gonna rob them. There's our, there's our friend. Uh, disliked by apes, disliked by Fellowship of Wardens, and disliked by highly entropic beings. Cool. And we're, we're okay with them. So we just need to share a dram. To 25. We'll give them some more secrets. And now we're like officially okay, I think, with goat folk. You have anything cool? Not really. Um, so what's our goat folk reputation? 125. Don't care about you, but aggressive ones will attack you. Well, that still sucks. So we have to be like, f I think we have to be friendly, maybe, um, in order to to make friends with some Mamon Soul Drinker. Which, you know, huh, oh well. Um, I could, you know what, let's go to Kakyukya. I've been talking enough about this quest. I should actually just do it. And I'm gonna keep my, my, uh, horned helmet on. I don't know, is horned a mod that you can learn? No, I don't think it is. Antelopes and goat folk. Pretty sure we can't learn for corned as a as a as a mod. Wouldn't that be nice? Too famished. Actually, I don't want to. Uh, I gotta I gotta find um, the warden here. Where is the warden? Have I not fully explored this place? I guess not. I don't think I got the quest from uh, the warden here. I don't see the warden. Where are they? They didn't die, did they? This isn't like one of those quests where if I don't complete it quickly enough, then... Hmm. Mopango, I don't think I ever got the quest. Where? Huh. That's a little bit scary. Wait a minute, am I in the right place? I'm not in the right place. It's not Kyokyukya. It's, um, Ezra. Isn't it? Maybe? I can't remember. 
I thought it was Kyakukya. That, uh, that had the goat folk, the, the pariah, basically. Also, is that a clone of me? That is a clone of me. Why is there a clone of me here? Some weird stuff happening right now. I'm not sure how I feel about any of it. Um, seeking a new home. You are an albino ape. What can you tell me about Kyokuka? Yeah, Indrix. Where is Indrix? Why, 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 where is he? Don't tell me he's dead. Did, did my clone kill him? I can't believe it. If I've like, if I can't even get the quest, I feel like that's an achievement gone. I think that they're, like, I think the, the quest is generally like, Oh, is that Indrix? Yeah, what are you doing out here, my dude? Hated by GoFolk. Well, we can't make friends with Indrix, but we can at least get the quest. I'm in search of work. Um, no, continue. Why don't you retrieve it yourself? Is there anything else I should know? Mimone will likely have several GoFolk under his enthrallment. They will protect him at all costs. Once you recover the prism, do not, under any circumstances, wield it. I don't. I needn't warn you of the consequences should you return to me bearing that charm. Okay, so what? Where is it? Travel to the Gofolk village and find Mamon. Well, okay, you tell me where it is. Just south of the village, there's a river that runs an eastwardly course. And okay, so I was gonna follow the the river east anyway. So now, um, this is kind of a time-consuming-ish part. It's one of the most, like, windy, travel-y quests in the game. Because we have to follow this river for quite a long time. I think it might even be RNG-based. Is like, uh, you know, how far this river goes until we find Mamon's uh, village. And of course, there's always the potential to find a vast animus. And I'm actually totally okay with that. Finding a vast animus may mean extra ego for us. It didn't this time, but you know, there's always the chance. Okay, this could actually be good. Those are aggressive though. We are inspired. I'm gonna need to... to stop for a second so that I can um, try and get my my special recipe for fungals. What we can do at the very least is clear if this is a part of the village because I don't you know these these guys should not really be attacking me it, they, unless they're they're Mamon's bodyguards basically is we can clear this place out and um, and then check if Mamon themselves are aggressive. If they are, then I'll just leave. I do wonder... Here's the thing about the Amarinthine prison. Is if you wear it for long enough, you will just die. Um, you're like, you basically get crushed under your own ego. So we're on okay terms with these guys. This might be the village. I wonder if we could have our cake and eat it too, as it were. Make friends with Mamon Soul Drinker. And then also uh, just like wait long enough for the, his, for the, the Amarinthian prison to um, kill him. You know. I didn't, I've never thought to try and do that. Because then we could just, like, once he's dead, then we can just, like, pick up the amaranthine prism off his body. But that assumes that the amaranthine prism works consistently for him as it does for us. I was about to attack that uh, goat folk out of pure, like, muscle memory. 
Ooh, there's a legend. Is that that's is that Mamon? No, it's a different one. This one is loved by Go Folk though. So that's some more reputation. Nice. You are now favored. Okay, so that should be enough. Do you have anything cool? No, you don't. You have bounding boots. Bounding boots are cool. So we're actually favored with goat folk now. They should actually like attack things that uh, are aggressive to us. That was a really nice and lucky find. I don't know if that was like pure chance or what. Okay, so the river seems to stop here. So I'm gonna go up. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to follow the river or if I'm supposed to just continue east. So I think it goes up. Village of Lair of Mamon Soul Drinker. Cool. We are not okay with Issachari tri- or not the Issachari, sorry, the Naphtali. So, you know, Naphtali are still going to be aggressive to us. There is Mamon. They burrowed a channel. Why are we still, why are we not okay with you? Hostile. Loved by the children of Mamon. So he's a completely different faction? Oh my god, really? Uh, that's frustrating. <laughs> After all the work I did, um, they've also got their grips on me. Um, <sighs> I'm going to <clears throat> move out of the tile. Hopefully they will not follow me. They did follow me. Here's what I want to do. Um, actually, they're close enough to me. I want to hit them with a love injector. Equip to our primary. That ape albino is going to make this difficult for me. Okay, we have successfully love injected them. Doesn't seem to understand. You. They are dazed and stunned. This alba these albino apes are going to make this annoying for me. Hold on a second. I have to I have to do the unthinkable and destroy these apes. Okay. Waiting for Mamon to be okay. He seems he's injured, but I think he's okay. One dram of blood. Uh, we can get some blood. <laughs> there's a, there's a uh, vast animus. There we go. Human corpse. I don't see any. Oh, there's some blood. Ah, it's brackish. Oh, here we go. Collect liquid. Okay, come here, Mamone, you weirdo. Chat, share a dram. There we go. Feast upon the goat hearts. Cheers. We are now on pretty good terms with Mamon, except we're not really. He doesn't really like us. I wouldn't mind knowing what kind of reputation, uh, or sorry, what kind of secrets he could give us. I notice we only share goat folk villages. Uh, with him, so that probably means he he's gonna go and like, um, you know, check out some other villages to to raid and and gain new followers for. I should uh, also you know ask him not to. Oh hey, free love injector, amazing! <laughs> That's fantastic. Take the nylon body pack. Um, where is Mamon? I, I don't want him following me. I don't think he will follow me. 
Is that some blood, like, in a little crevice thing? It is. Okay, so he... Mamone is a weirdo. I, I don't think I like Mamone. <clears throat> Mamone, you are gonna stay here, okay? Um, alright, that's gonna do it. We got, we got an achievement. Uh, might be a good place to stop, actually. Not sure what the next achievement is that I want to shoot for. Um, let me have a quick look. Uh, b -b 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 fall in love with yourself. That's something we could definitely do. Plenty of clones for us to fall in love with. Fall in love with a sign. There's lots of fall in love with X. Become hated by the villagers of Jopa. Sucks we can't do that. Um, I'll have to do a Jopa run in the future. Advance the mutation to level 15. That seems like something we ought to do. We also have to find Oborokoru. Uh, Oborokoru is definitely something we're going to have to kind of do. Clone Sisyphus, we can't do that, unfortunately. Um, share the map with 30 clones of yourself in the future, for sure. Kill Oborokoru, that's, you know, we'll have to do that as well. Recover Kindersh, yeah, we'll have to do that. Visit 100 generated villages. Um, cook a meal with an extra dimensional limb. We will probably do that on this run. Um, be gifted a 10 pointed ass. I'm not sure what that one is. Gain a mutation from a gamma moth's mutating gaze. Oh, here we go. Drink 20 gr drams of brain brine. This is possibly going to ruin this run. Um, but I could do this. We, I do need us. I have a neutron flux, by the way. Uh, I'm going to need a second one if I want to get a, another achievement. We need two drams of Neutron Flux in order to kind of like do an extra fun thing. Um, but I could drink this Brain Brine. I have to drink 20 in total in order for this to be worth it. There's a very small chance that this will give us a flaw. So this isn't great. Tastes salty. Your mind starts to swim. You begin meditating. You shake the water from your idled brains, but someone else's thoughts have already taken root. You gained the activated ability Mental Mirror. I think that's possibly one of the worst muta mental mutations, period. Your ego is decreased by one. Well, that's fine. We could, we could stand to lose one ego. Um, that did increase our psychic glimmer by quite a lot. So we got Mental Mirror. Um, how much is this increased by? Increased by 9. So we're technically at Temporal Fugue 10. Um, you know, it's going to be a long time before we can actually improve Temporal Fugue to, to 15. But that's okay. This is a long run. Long run game. Actually, increasing our psychic, psychic glimmer at this point is not a terrible thing because it means we'll uh, start encountering uh, psychic hunters and eventually interdimensional hunters, which is something we could definitely, you know, do. Um, it would be it would be a good idea for us to do that because uh, we do want to, um, you know. Get, get ourselves some interdimensional limbs. That's another achievement I just listed. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, we... Unfortunately, I unequipped a lot of things when I unequipped my hat. Okay. Actually, I don't think we really need that anymore. Because the thing is, is that we have um, heightened hearing. I will say heightened hearing doesn't seem to be, be really working. I thought increasing heightened hearing by a lot would event would mean that we'd get to hear enemies from like far away, but I haven't really been doing that. Yeah, why is heightened hearing not really working? Oh, it's sorry, it's heightened quickness. I thought I had heightened hearing. No, that's because I had heightened hearing in, um, I had heightened hearing in my Moonstare update video, and, uh, 
you know, my brain just associated, heightened with hearing. There's another null worm. Oh no, we're out of water. Oops. Uh, okay, well, you know what? We're pretty much done here, so why don't we go to Ezra? We'll trade in some stuff. Not a lot, but we'll do a little bit of trading, and we'll call it for this episode. And I'm not sure what we're going to work towards next, um, but probably um, we could do some more clam hopping. We could do some more um, ruin diving. Ruin diving, always fun. Antimatter cell, goggles, none of this is very good for me. But I will grab some of those. Some those are those are good for us. Uh ba, 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 ba. nothing else here really does it for me. Um oh, trade in this crystal coronet that'll give us the exact amount of money that one would like to have. And then we'll check out the general store. Anything good here? Got some strange, weird artifacts. I'll definitely check those out. I'll buy your Taco Supremas. Zetachrome. Zetachrome Dagger. I'll also, a flawless long crystal longsword. Not what we need. Spacer Rifle. Spacer Pistol would actually be um, worthwhile. So we'll trade this Nylon Body Pack. Bounding Boots. Um... I don't want to give up the flawless crystal shard mail. Might be that we need to keep that. But we could. Oh. Never mind. We'll sell this <laughs> flawless crystal shard mail. Because I just realized we have recycling reinforced flawless shard mail. Um, we can. We could trade this. I don't know what that really does for us. And, oh, horse shrooms. Get rid of those. They're good. You know, I, I should probably keep them. And look at all these uh, daggers and stuff we could get rid of. Could get rid of this as well. What does this count as? Axe. 50% of the time the fates have their way. I really don't know what that means. But it, it kind of fills me with a sense of dread, if I'm being honest. Rifle of the Logical Lake. Well, it is a rifle, unfortunately. Spray Fire. That's Slender. Oh, Grant's Electrical Generation. Nah, we're, we're probably going to end up selling that. Uh, we will sell the Arc Winder. I, like I said, if I find a high-powered uh, Arc Winder, then I will definitely trade up to that. But um, for now, we're good with this. Okay, so we've got 400 drams. Is there anything else we could trade for? We could trade for a few herberries. Maybe not that many. We don't really need that many. Okay. I think that's... we're good. I can't believe that this guy had a Zetachrome anything. That's kind of nice. Good to know. We need two more Crystal Longswords to hand in that, like, highly expensive quest. Um, I should disassemble whatever scrap we have. Can I learn any of our data disks? No. Tinker 3. Tinker 3. You already know that. Okay, so good to know I should uh, sell that Normality Gas Grenade. Let's check out our artifacts. Lacquered Pistol. Masterwork Semi-Automatic Pistol. Uh, garbage. Treat that as scrap. Disassemble. Um, Alright, here we go. Vibro Dagger. Um, that's a sell for sure. Ulnar Stimulators. These uh, are pretty good as I recall. Plus one strength, plus one agility. Problem is, is that their AV kind of sucks. What can we do for, like to mod them? Feathered Jack Sturdy. Can't really give them extra AV unfortunately. So, probably sell them or throw them in the Mechanimist hole. It's a pistol. Spacer pistol! Yo! Yo, that's great. 
That's fantastic. We'll throw an antimatter cell in there and I might even mod it. And spray a brain. We got spray a brain. I don't think I want spray a brain. I already had the nano, nano neuro animator. Really don't think spray a brain is worth it for us, but I don't know. I'll keep it for now. It's probably worth a lot. Um, that's great. Spacer pistol is pin 14. Um, spacer pistol is also really expensive on the energy side of things, but possibly worth it anyway. Mod with tinkering. So we could give jacks to it and uh, probably masterwork and then scoped. Those are probably all going to require meta crystals. I'm going to do it, we'll do jacked, and then I'm going to have to disassemble a couple of uh, antimatter cells. We don't really have that many left. So disassemble this guy. Um, I'm sure I have some I can give up somewhere. I mean, if I'm doing this, I might uh, take them out of my Eigen pistols. I do like the Eigen pistols, don't get me wrong. We didn't put anything in this. Can we mod this with tinkering? We can, we can give this jacked, may as well. Um, fill, excuse me, was what? Weird. Does it require oil, I wonder? Hmm. Uh, 5% chance to slip away from natural melee attacks. Plus 15 to saves versus being grabbed. Slick grease stuff coats the hexagonally arranged pores across the surface. I, I don't know if this actually works unless it just has oil in it. Um, okay, well, that's a shame. Hmm. What can we give up? We can... Certainly this does not need to have an antimatter cell. I think a, a nuclear cell would be good enough. We're gonna need one more meta crystal, so I'm gonna have to rob something else of a antimatter cell. Maybe this electromagnetic disc. We can't, unfortunately, um, put jacked on this, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't really need an antimatter cell. It probably doesn't use up a lot of power. Um, if it does, that's fine. I'm not, I'm still not a huge fan. I'm not really sold on the geomagnetic disc, if I'm being honest. So let's disassemble this, disassemble that, and then we're gonna mod the spacer pistol to have masterwork and scoped. And then I kind of want to hit it with metamorphic polygel. And hear me out, okay? I know this is a very expensive use of this, but hear me out. I have two of these, all right? 570 drams for a metamorphic polygel. That's if we're selling it. So clearly buying it would be more expensive, right? Okay, I'm not, you know, ignorant to that fact. But if we look at our jacked masterwork scoped spacer pistol, 2,500 jam drams. So that's from selling it, right? So just from a monetary or for financial standpoint, using a metamorphic polygel on our now most valuable uh, item is probably worth it. That being said, I don't know if this hasn't been nerfed a little bit. Like if I do this to our jacked masterwork scoped spacer pistol, is it going to apply all of those extra mods to it? And is it also gonna have an antimatter cell on it? Probably not. But let's see. Yeah, okay, so we don't get a second antimatter cell. That, that's a fair compromise. It did keep all of the, um, the mods, so that's, that's worth it. Um, so we're going to replace a cell. I, I'm not going to get rid of these Eigen pistols. You know, I'm not going to get rid of them. They're, they're, they're good. They're, they'll serve me well. Because the thing is, is these, um, <laughs> the spacer pistols are energy hogs. Antimatter cells. Like, you basically need antimatter cells just to really kind of justify this. But that being said, it is pretty justified. Pen 14, great. That's fantastic. We're doing, we're doing, we're not even doing that much pen with our, um, 
you know, basic melee attacks. So worth it. We're now dual wielding um, spacer pistols. So the only thing left, you know, in terms of progress, in terms of our um, pistols, our ranged damage is the high voltage arc winder. I think that's basically the best thing in the game right now because it does uh, damage to multiple enemies at once. It has arcing damage, you know, obviously. And it also um, has like, no, I wouldn't say infinity pen, you can't crit with it, but it uh, goes through pen, it goes through AV. Like it, you, you, you do raw damage with it. And that's, it's just incredible. So if we can, um, you know, get to arc, high voltage arc winder, that'll be worth trading up from. Um, but basically that's going to do it with, uh, for, for our pistols. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, it was a pretty eventful one. We got an achievement. Um, we made friends with Mamone Soul Drinker. Um, yeah, then uh, yeah, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.